Hi Andy, we've had a very, very productive couple of days on yours now and the chassis is completely stripped. Um, it's, it's quite bent at the front. Uh, this uh, frame horn particularly you can see is very, very pushed in. That should be upright, you know. Um, I also, I'm a little bit concerned we're a quarter of an inch high on this side. Uh, I mean there often is a little bit of a discrepancy between heights on these things anyway so you know usually not enough to worry about but I'm, my concern is a little bit about the the fact that the spring had a lot of spaces in it this side but uh, what can you do we'll just we'll suck it and see what once we uh, get it off the axle stands and get it on a level surface we'll we'll measure up and and see that we're not you know too far adrift um, the, got that. You can see that crack better on that front arm now. And in fact, now that the arm is out, you can see the way it's ovaled this hole as well. It should be a nice round affair like that. So it's all uh, very, very out on this side. Um, and that's the side that the A-arms were bad on as well. So, but anyway, there you are. Other than that, it all looks all okay. You know, no, no real rust or nasties. The training arm pockets are very full of muck. Uh, so we'll have a dig out of those. We've yet to steam clean all this, so we'll do that uh, later on. Um, down here, I've got your bits and pieces of trailing arms that we've separated. The uh, wheel bearings were, where well, you can see, very, very dry uh, on this one. Uh, the other one had a bit more grease in it, but not much. Uh, there's your steering gear, very, very manky, very mucky. So we're going to take the uh, track rod ends and uh, tie rod ends and tie rod tubes off and put new ones of those on and then we'll steam clean all of this um, there's your training arm bits and pieces your wheels are there uh, and your rad support I'm going to measure the back spacing and whatnot on the wheels so I can get a price on the new ones your differential is down here and I'll give that a steam clean uh, when we do the chassis and then out here I've been this afternoon burning out A-arm bushes, uh, well, let's say this afternoon, most of today, burning out A-arm bushes and trailing arm bushes and dismantling trailing arms and this, that and the other. We've stripped the front hubs down and drilled the old front discs off and I've also burnt out the um, uh, drive shaft UJs. I've still got the prop shaft to do. Uh, I've separated the spare wheel carrier frame and I've uh, chucked the spare wheel bucket away. That was broken, so we'll put a new spare wheel bucket on there. Uh, over here and I've left these out just to show you these are your old A arms so that this one here is the right hand um, right hand lower and you can see it's all bent and spread apart here you know that's all bent out of shape there and if I turn it over you can see how how badly bent in it is there uh, this one um, where was that bent now? Uh, oh yeah, just this 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 portion here is bent too far in this way. So I've replaced both lower A arms with some second hand ones. I've also replaced the upper one as well because that that's a little bit bent and that's the same side that the lower arm, that's the right hand upper. So I've replaced those three with some second hand ones and we'll scrap those. And uh, the replacements, there's the two. Uh, uppers and the two lowers are in there and this pile is all yet to be steam cleaned so that's just sat there for the moment. Um, I noticed that one trailing arm as well, that one there, is bent just here but I can straighten that out I think without too much of a problem so I don't think that warrants a new trailing arm. The actual rest of the arm all looks okay. Uh, so yeah that's what we've uh, got so far um, and your empty chassis in here so yeah very productive so we're going to just call a halt on yours for a little while I want to get the body off this red 68 and uh, we'll give that the same treatment over the next couple of days strip the chassis and everything then we'll steam clean everything together uh, and then yours will go off for sandblasting they're coming for that on Tuesday uh, and then when they bring that back we'll swap over with the other one and they'll take the 68 chassis so there you are we're uh it's all a bit of a shock to the system coming back to this after a nice restful couple of weeks over Christmas and it's really made a mess of my freshly painted floor but there you are, that's the way it goes. But uh, oh, I'm, I'm pleased with the, with the progress, it was a bit of a, 
a pig to get apart everything was kind of seized and needed heat or whatever but you know it, it's all come in the end so there you are we'll press on and i'll do a bit more for you as things progress